A Wasatch Lake effect storm is awesome. From a meteorologist's point of view, we love these kinds of storms. That cold air goes over the lake, the lake turns on, you prime the pump, you generate lake effect, and then it funnels into that canyon and then has to rise that 7,000 feet. It's just a snow machine. And we've had 100 inches in 100 hours at Alta. I mean, that's just insane. And how that happens is because of topography, because of the features we have, the land versus water features, and the type of flow we have coming in from the Northwest. What makes Lake Effect so special is that it's really a rare event. And certain parameters have got to come together, a cold air mass over a warm lake. Of course, we need mountains. And that helps to get that moist, warm air mass risen into our mountains so those clouds hang out here and just dump massive amounts of snow. When you're a powder skier, one of the most important things is snow density. What do I mean by snow density? That's how much water is contained in the snow. You can see in this mason jar, we have about six, seven inches of snow. When you melt that down, it's less than an inch of liquid. The less liquid, the fluffier the snow. So why are lake effect storms so good for skiing? It's because it usually happens when we have very cold air masses. Very cold temperatures lead to that low density fluffy powder, which is perfect for powder skiing. To me, the greatest snow on earth is not just a motto, it's a way of life. It's the quantity of snow we get, it's the quality of snow we get, and it's the frequency. We average over a foot of snow per week all winter long here in Utah. You know, when lake effect happens, it's really a remarkable weather phenomenon. Only happens a couple times a season. We're really blessed when it does grace our mountains and it's definitely something when you nail it, there's an amazing vibe in these canyons cause it's a really special experience.